This is a short introduction to the design thinking course at the Blekinge Institute of Technology. Design thinking is usually described with this figure to show the main things that puts this in perspective in terms of product development. So design thinking is an approach to product development and design which is based out of the users and the human centered aspect to design. So we start off by empathizing with the users and the customers that we are making this for. So we focus a lot on developing a very deep understanding of the challenge and the needs and the pains and the jobs that the users and the ultimately the customers needs to get done. This activity is then articulated as a clear problem definition that the team then of course owns quite close to heart. That is then the basis for the ideation activity which is at the center of this whole approach as well. And we perform a lot of creative ideation sessions such as brainstorming, brain writing and other types of creative methods to develop a lot of potential solutions because we are driven by the fact that we want a lot of quantity in our ideation set and then we try to funnel that through evaluations and clusterings and votings and other things to a more narrow scope and a more of a concept view that we build prototypes from so we develop a lot of prototypes and we drive our development with prototyping at the core of, of our design work these prototypes of course we don't just build them for the sake of building them we want to then closely test them with users in a very hard as possible environment to know that we are building the right stuff and that we are on the right track and we are solving users real problems. There are a few key aspects that are important to stress with design thinking. The first is that we are addressing what we call wicked problems which are problems that have a lot of uncertainty and also ambiguity so we don't know everything about our users from the outset. We don't know exactly what is the single way forward so with ambiguity there might be more than one way forward or several ways and, and approaches to actually solve the problem. It's also very much dependent on our users context and when in time and, and so on. So some needs are solved maybe in different ways depending on if it's now or in the past or what will happen in the future. It's very human centered with the challenge so we want to work closely with our users to have solutions that are adapted to their needs and driven by their needs. So need finding is an important aspect to define find out and select and, and funnel out the important needs. It's a very iterative process. The focus here is about finding the right problem and ensuring that we're actually building the right things that are really solving the real issues rather than just to figure out something that we want to build. We use prototyping to drive our development not just to verify that we built the right stuff or that things are actually working. With testing we work with what we call validated learning so we want to test in a very hard way the solutions and the ideas in the user's real environment. The figure here on the right side tries to capture this where the successful way of doing this is to stack up a lot of very small failures or or ways that maybe things aren't really working and then we reflect and we take it to the next step and then by knowing all these ways that work and doesn't work we also know what will be the right winning solution at the end. The wrong way of doing it is to bet on a 50-50 from the beginning that either it's going to work or it might fail. The innovation process looks like this as we have it in the course. We have four main phase phases. The first initiation is to put a good foundation for the team. That's about team building, planning, framing the challenge. We then drive that towards the inspiration which is about gathering a lot of information about users from their everyday lives, understanding what are the needs, not just what they might say they want, but also understanding what are trending in general in society and in specific in the areas we're working, uh, what are the technologies that we can tap into and use. Ideation then is where we take all this information and we try to put a creative twist to it. So we use creative methods to develop a lot of ideas and a lot of crazy ideas hopefully that will provide a creative outcome is then brought forward through the implementation phase to bring the things to market, bring it home basically. We talk about here a minimum viable product so we want to focus on solving a very specific issue and uh, then of course also connect that with the business aspect and the value propositions. So that concludes the very quick introduction to the design thinking course. Thank you.